Hi, welcome into Courtside. This is the digital series about QVC entrepreneurs, and I'm your host, Courtney Webb. And we have a wonderful guest who actually joined the QVC family not too long ago through the big find. Miss Stephanie is coming on in. How are you? Hello, how are you? <laughs> Doing so well. So you bring us a brand called Have Some Fun Today, which I absolutely love because it's Friday, and this is the perfect day to have a little bit of fun. But tell us how you kind of started your career and then transition. So start us from the beginning. Well, if I can go back to, um, I went to Penn State University and um, I studied advertising because I thought that advertising would be the closest to a, an art creative career that would be successful. Yeah. Um, and so while I was doing that, I decided to um, become an au pair and live in France for a summer oh. and it was such a in, inspiring experience because I was alone and I didn't have any influences around me any friends and it was a time that I got to really go into myself and figure out what I really wanted to do in life mm -hmm. probably very similar to a lot of people what are experiencing right now um, you know because I'm talking to my young 20 some year old daughters and and they are having this opportunity to really go inside themselves and think about what they really want to do with their lives. So, so flashing back to when I'm 20 years old, and I realized that I didn't, I was going to finish Penn State, but then I realized that I wanted to become a designer. That was the time when I decided that. So I graduated from Penn State, and I decided to apply to Parsons, mm -hmm. and I went through the Parsons fashion program, which is amazing. Yes. And... Yeah. It's, it's incredible. It's a great school and such a great experience. Um, anyway, so I did that and I became a designer and did that for a little while and realized I wanted to have a family. And I ended up moving, leaving the fashion industry and moving to Pen Pennsylvania and starting a family. And so I kind of like took a real roundabout journey to get where I am today. Mm -hmm. And I can share that with you, obviously. But um, so, so when I became a mom, I start, you know, I started um, just taking care of my home and making my home look pretty. And people would come to me and say, "Oh, well, can you design my home?" So I started doing interior design for a really long time, and it was just about six years ago that my dad started to not be doing so well physically mm -hmm. and he had this saying have some fun today he said it all the time no matter who he talked to um, if he were to speak to you he would end his conversation with you with have some fun today and he did it all the time so when he passed this saying um, as an homage to my father became a, it, it went a little viral in our town and yeah. and a couple months later, I was doing like a morning meditation and, you know, having my coffee and thinking about my day and thinking about where I want to go next in life. And I had this vision of the words, have some fun today. And I visualized it on like tote bags and hats and t-shirts. And it just struck me that I had a brand here. And that was the day that I started the brand. Um, in that five minutes, I literally designed in my head the Lux Tote, which is now being sold on QVC and the wristlet. Um, and five years later, they are two of our most popular items and, you know, along with a whole collection of things that I've designed. But that was the beginning of the brand and that was the impetus for the brand. And, you know, I believe in life, you have to like flow through your experiences and stay true to yourself and your vision. And I did. And I'm so grateful that today I'm sharing this amazing brand. I'm sharing my dad's vision. And I am using all of the education that I had at Penn State and at Parsons. We have to kind of take that pause and be able to let ourselves have that moment to know what that vision is. So I think that's the first thing that you just kind of touched on. And then the second thing is you listen to your dad. I mean, we hear it all the time. Listen to your family, listen to your parents, listen to those wise people around you. And you took it and you said, 
what is he trying to tell me? And you created something that ended up rippling out into the entire <laughs> world. You brought it to QVC. Millions of us are shopping. Now you have the tote bag and the wristlet with you, right? I would love for us to show it. And I'm going to share that item number two. So this is the tote bag. I don't know if you can see it here. If you can see it. But, um, you know, it was interesting. When I was doing my interior design career, I was inspired by um, – different things that I would see and take them into my interior design work. And one of them was this beautiful pillow that a great brand called Calypso, and if you remember that brand, yeah. um, they had this beautiful, simple canvas pillow with leather applique words on it. And I just thought it had this cool um, combination of, like, I love mixing materials. That's kind of part of the way I do my art. That's the way I do my design, because I like eclectic things, I find them to be much more interesting. So when I was coming up with the inspiration for this brand, I mean, it happened immediately. I thought of that pillow and I thought, wow, wouldn't it be so cool if I were to take leather and applique that on a canvas tote and then add in, I'll show you again, the raw leather handles and the brass grommets. And I just think that the combination of these materials is kind of like a little boho chic, um, inspirational, happy. Um, it, it had all of the elements in it. And I just thought it was the kind of thing that people would look at and be like, where did you get that? And that's literally what happens. <laughs> I believe it. So the item number for that tote bag, and then also you have a wristlet is A379095. And then also A379097. But you can type and have some fun today on QVC.com. Look how darling. And it's so funny because it's just so simple. But because of the mantra, because of the story, it really, it means a lot. And I think right now, especially, have some fun today is something that we kind of need to look inward and say, well, how can we do that given our boundaries and the limitations that we've had? So you started off as a one-woman show, right? You, you created this brand on your own. Tell me how it's expanded and some of the people who maybe helped you or inspired you besides your dad. Well, um, when I started the brand, I, it was, you know, just me. And I always thought it would be really cool because I have all these like interesting friends who are very talented. And we would always talk about, wouldn't it be cool if we could all do something together? Mm -hmm. So initially, I just reached out to my different talented friends and I said, oh, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And that's kind of like in terms of like the graphic for that, the actual, like this actual graphic. This was yeah. something that, believe it or not, took a lot of work sure. to have something this simple be the way I want it to be. Sometimes the more simple something is, actually the more difficult it is to, to create it and design it. We don't think that way naturally. So, yeah. um, you know, that was a friend of mine who, you know, we collaborated. And then I had another really good friend who sort of helped me, you know, figure out the website. So I kind of like drew on my friends and, yeah. you know, had them all kind of collaborate with me. There was a time period when I didn't have enough um, confidence in my own voice. So I would have a friend who I thought was a really good writer, help me write my blog. So I've really utilize the people around me to sort of freelance and contribute in that way, um, which is kind of still the way I'm doing things because we're still, we're a small business and this is our biggest opportunity we've had so far. I mean, we are selling also um, to high-end resorts all across the country and the Caribbean, but still I've been able to manage this pretty much all on my own. Um, but with this new opportunity with QVC and the big find, I'm really hoping that this is the year I'll be able to expand and get some people on board to help me in a more permanent way. Oh, and we're so happy to have you. So you just mentioned that you came in through the big find, which is a once in a lifetime entrepreneurial experience where we looked out all over the world, like literally all over to find amazing brands. They had to check out quality wise. They had to check out and be a sustainable brand that we could actually bring and leverage to millions of people. And you were one of the winners. So what was it like getting ready and preparing for the big find? Um, that was like, it was funny. My, my friend Katrina, who's also a host on the show, mm -hmm. she actually Katrina was someone also just to take a step back 
she was one of the people I reached out to when I was first formulating the brand. And I kind of had her as an advisor, so to speak, before she joined QVC. So because we've been friends for a long time. So she's always kind of been a cheerleader. And I very much believe in the women supporting women movement. Um, and, you know, Katrina is really someone who really exemplifies that. And so when she mentioned to me, Steph, I really think, you know, you should put your, you know, show up there and, you know, make a video for the big find. I thought about it for a while and I decided to do it. And, you know, it was, it was fun to do. It was easy to do because, you know, my story is so real. You know, it's, it's really my life. It's really what my dad said. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, I've been a designer and an artist my whole life. So this is all so organic for me. Um, so that part was easy, um, except for, you know, actually making a video that can always be a little challenging, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> in terms of like then showing, I was excited when they accepted my video and then to, to go to the QVC headquarters, um, I decided to present my Lux collection, which is the wristlet and the Lux tote. And I have several other things that are part of that collection. Um, but that too, you know, it was a little nerve wracking doing it. But then again, like the story's the story. And I think the judges, you know, saw that and they saw that their viewers and people all over the world would identify with this idea of enjoying your life, slowing down for a minute to have like the intention of I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to have some fun today. So. Oh, I, one, I appreciate you bringing up women supporting women. Katrina Zish actually had your tote bag and wristlet on um, yesterday morning on her Zish List show, which I love watching. And I'm sure she would have loved to have you there given the different circumstances. But yeah. I mean, when you brought this, it really did. It, it definitely touched the judges. I was a judge for beauty, but when I talked to the judges who were judging your category, they just said, this is it. It just instantly felt like, this will bring joy. This is easy in the sense of you can just put it on your shoulder. And then of course you have the cute little wristlet, great gift. But the fact that you used your network and you said, you know what, I can't do this by myself. And you reached out. I think that resonates with a lot of us, especially at this time. And you did mention you kind of were, you were in PA, then you went to New York and then you left New York and came back to Pennsylvania. Tell me where your heartstrings are for Pennsylvania. Oh, it's, you know, well, I, I guess it's tied into the brand in a way because, you know, I came back here when I wanted to have a family. So I wasn't, so here's the thing with fashion. You know, I love fashion. I love accessories. I love designing fashion. I love wearing fashion. But I wasn't into the vibe of the fashion industry. Mm. So when I had the opportunity to start a family and do my own thing, you know, in a different way, I just did it. And, you know, with, and I came back because my, at the time, my husband wanted to work for our family business. And so I got the chance to be around my family. And that is where, you know, this have some fun today came into the picture. So I really think that it was just meant to be this way. And, you know, for me, as much as I love fashion, I love the meaning behind things more. So even though this is fashion, I design fashion, the meaning behind Have Some Fun Today is really the essence of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, you know, I'm not just trying to sell a bag. I'm not just trying to sell a tote, a clutch. I'm really trying to create things that have meaning. And, and that's really the difference in what I'm doing. And you're not just doing that. So you came to Pennsylvania, you're here now, but you started something. You, Because you were an artist, I kind of want to get into that. You launched this hashtag global reset. Is that right? Yes. Tell me a little bit about that and what triggered it, because it has to do with our current circumstance. Absolutely. Actually, you know, I think it's so fascinating, but I think my brand have some fun today is so relevant through this crisis. Mm -hmm. And in the same respect, um, the whole concept of being creative. And, you know, 
as I am able to do more, I really want to get behind a platform that encourages creativity in developing, you know, children's um, ideas about living their life. Because I think through being creative, we are able to find innovations in in mm -hmm. industry and ways of doing things and education and inventions and discoveries. I mean, it's all linked to being creative. Um, and so Have Some Fun Today came out of that. And my work as an artist has always, um, I've always been an artist. And, you know, to me, being creative is very healing. And so as we're going through this crisis, this global pandemic, I started to paint again because I really haven't had time in the past year, to, to be honest. Um, you know, the whole QVC thing has has been a lot of work for me as as a one woman show. Mm -hmm. um, happily, that I have the opportunity, but I haven't had time to paint. So when this happened, I, I do have a little time to paint. And my daughter, who's a, a recent graduate of Penn State, you know, she came back here to be in quarantine, and uh, we started painting. And as we were doing it, we're starting to feel better because you know there's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of angst, there's a lot of what's going to happen. Are we safe? You know, so when we started to create and paint, we started to feel better. And it, it's just released this very healing energy. And, you know, I guess part of my DNA is being a risk taker, being a manifester, actually making the things that I think happen. Right. And so I just kind of said out loud, wouldn't it be cool if everyone in the world, because I had to go to the world, <laughs> not just my town, like shared something that we're making or we're writing or we're doing. Um, and so this whole concept of, well, what would it be called? And in a way, like the only thing I could think of was the term global reset, because I do think it is an opportunity for us to reset, mm -hmm. to rethink and to, you know, kind of click pause, yep. refresh ourselves and come back stronger and invigorated. And so I kind of put the word out there to a few artist friends and, you know, some people have picked up on the story, some publications and newspapers, and we are putting it out there. And so we're asking basically, or we're inviting anyone creative to share a post could be anything like it doesn't have to be a picture. It could be a quote. It could be a passage. It could be a piece of music. It could be a video, um, obviously a painting, which is what I'm doing. Um, and we're just with the hashtag global reset on April 30th. And the concept is if a lot of people do it, we are just with the hope that this will raise the vibration of healing and love and, and we just think it's a good thing. And, you know, maybe that'll lead to other things. Maybe it'll lead to, like, art shows along, around the world and different art galleries. Maybe it could be, like, a show at Art Basel, you know, with a charitable component. So putting the word out there to anybody who thinks this is a cool idea, there's a lot of good we could do with this. But at this point, it's an idea. It's an initiative. And anyone who wants to join is welcome. I like, I like that you are creating something from something because the word create, I think a lot of us get distracted. We think, oh, it's creating something from nothing. But I mean, really nothing begets nothing. So everything already exists and you're using what you have around you to create something. And at this time, that's kind of what we're doing. We're all <laughs> finding what is close to us, what's around us, what we can use, like this platform right now. We're able to have this interview um, and right. put it live. And so we're really being creative. And so I love that you and your daughter kind of came up with this idea together and then that you're extending it to all of us. So whether you're watching right now and you want to do some art or paint or music, I love how you just opened it up to any spectrum. I think the hashtag global reset will be such a fun way to see the, the spread of connectivity and creativity. So thank you for kind of starting that and, and bringing that to our attention. Yeah, we actually, um, have a Facebook page in case anybody wants to click onto it. It's called Global Reset. Okay. And you can join, you can invite people, and you can post on there if you want. You know, you can post your progress. And it's really just an invitation to anybody. 
Ah, oh, perfect. So, well, since we're on that, where can we follow you and your journey and stay connected? Are you on social and all of that? Yeah, I am. I've um, been on social media since 2008. I was uh, right on it right away. I think it's a wonderful medium. So I'm on Instagram um, with HSFT official. And I also have an art page called um, SRT Interiors. And um, I'm on Facebook under Have Some Fun Today and my interior page. So you can find me anywhere but uh, i really believe in the power of social media um i believe it's it does a great good Mm -hmm. and i believe that you can learn a lot of great things and be exposed to wonderful things and it's just a matter of you using your discretion you know about what you take in and you know that's where i am with it (laughs) perfect no that's great that's awesome okay so i have to just kind of rewind a little bit because your father had such an impact on you And it sounds like growing up your childhood was one centered around kind of passion and creativity and following your your dream or even just manifesting. Because a lot of us, you know, we kind of need to remember that right now. I think it is this opportunity for us to be childlike, to kind of look at things from a different perspective. So could you tell us a little bit about your your, you growing up and your dad and um, obviously have some fun today was his mantra. But what was it like? How was it like growing up for you as like an artist and now you're a designer and so many things in the creative space? You know, it's funny. Um, Well, first of all, not only my dad was fantastic. My mom is amazing. And and I really want to give her a shout out because I'm going to (laughs) cry. Oh, sorry. (laughs) That's okay. Uh, Now, she has totally supported this this dream because, um, sorry, um, we're just a tight knit family and I'm like the oldest of five kids. Sorry, do people cry here? <laughs> you can cry and there's no need to apologize. I think emotions right now are just something that are part of the norm, so you're totally fine. Anyway, um, so I uh, was born into um, a big Italian family and the oldest child and just a very creative child. Um, was drawing and painting from the moment I could have a crayon and a pencil. (laughs) And um, love to listen to people and really hear what they have to say. So I would say that I'm a very intense person and a very um, cerebral person also. So the combination of, of being creative artistically and listening, you know, you are able to express a lot in, in that way. And my parents, and my family have always been incredibly supportive of, of everyone in my family. I have two other entrepreneurs in my family, my brother in L.A. and my sister in L.A., and they both have their own separate entrepreneurial businesses. <clears throat> and my parents have always just been like, if you believe in it, we believe in you. And that has always been the case. And um supported our our education i mean i took my poor parents i went to four years of college and i'm the oldest of five kids and then they sent me to parsons on after that like one of parents support (laughs) um but yeah they always believed that i could do anything and i know that my dad is i i actually believe that he's watching this um I believe that he is here. I know that sounds crazy, but I really do. I feel like he's been with me the entire journey. So I have a funny story for you. Um, A couple years ago, I was driving, because I used to do a lot of trunk shows. I would drive anywhere. I did a ton of them just to get the ground. Trunk shows are a lot of work. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's like a, it was really a grassroots brand for a couple of years. Um, And I was driving to the beach to do a, 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 like a trunk show in Avalon, New Jersey. And I was really just having a hard time. I was thinking, man, this is a lot of work. Am I really doing the right thing? And I literally kind of was speaking out loud to my father in the heavens. Yeah. And, and I said, dad, just give me a sign. Give me a sign I'm doing the right thing. And two hours later, I get to Avalon, pull up, and I get a text message And it's my sister, Joselle, who has been a huge help to me with my brand. And she sends me a text 
from a, a picture of Kate Hudson's Instagram where Kate Hudson is wearing my hoodie. And I'm like, okay, my dad's listening. That happened. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> it happened like that too. Yeah, it happened. You know, I said that in the car two hours later, Kate Hudson posts on her Instagram. So, you know, there is an energy. Um, I'm not saying I believe in ghosts, but no, but there, there's I an energy and he's listening and he's, agree. he's kind of behind it. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. I think, and everyone has their own set of beliefs and how and how they view that. But I definitely agree with you. I believe that our our ancestors are very fully aware of what we're doing. I love that there's a shirt that says like I'm my ancestors' wildest dreams. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? <laughs> no, I have. I think, oh, it's a good one. I'm like, oh, that's exactly what you are. Your your dad and you and those who came before you. You their your their wildest dream. And I think that that's something that everyone is in every respect, whether you are an entrepreneur, you're a mom, whether you're a teacher, whether you're someone's sister or you're a best friend. I think no matter where you stand, you are someone's wildest dreams and people can be so proud of other people and they don't even know it. So I think that is something that you are definitely you have and I appreciate you sharing it. Now, when we talk about this time, because it's going on right now, how are you looking forward? I'm just curious. I know, obviously, you have a little fun today by painting with your daughter, but what else are you doing? How are you staying kind of optimistic? It sounds like you meditate, but what are what are things that you would give as uh, recommendations for someone right now on how to look inward and, and have a little joy? Well, you know, I'm pretty much doing the same thing that I do even when we're not in the middle of a global pandemic. (laughs) I mean, I'm I'm a big believer in taking care of yourself Mm. uh, mentally, emotionally, and physically. So I have been doing that for a long time and I'm continuing to do that. And I recommend that as a a way of living um, for everybody. Um, So I am taking care of myself, I'm exercising, I'm eating healthy, I'm continuing to do my work. Because, you know, basically I'm reaching out to people globally through internet, um, trying to find, you know, because I, 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 I see this us coming out of this sooner than later. Um, my brand is actually relevant now, you know, more than ever. And so, you know, we're continuing to ship to people. We're developing new products. I'm looking for new partnerships. Um, So I'm still designing, I'm still working on my blogs because I write a blog once a month that kind of, you know, because have some fun today is really like a mindset. It's not just a product. It's really like living your best life, you know, sharing joy. um, And so it's all kind of integrated. And I really, I believe that my work and my life are integrated. Um, And I believe that long before I even started this brand. So I'm still rocking and rolling. (laughs) Good. We're happy you're rocking and rolling. Well, before we kind of close out this interview, I want you to just kind of show us your tote bag again. Because if someone's just tuning in and they're like, have some fun today. I'm really liking this. I love the idea of the brand. But let's just see the tote bag. And you have the wristlet also, which are both available on QVC.com. And the item numbers for those while you're getting them prepared, A379095 an A379097. How cute is this? The wristlet, and I'll show you the other colors. Okay, perfect. Also, now this, this is exclusive to QVC. This is the olive. That one's exclusive? Yes. This would look great on you, by the way. I love the olive. <laughs> yeah, and you know, this is a great, like, well, at the beach in the summer, I'm a big beach person in the summer. Oh, so, you know, you're out at your, hanging out, doing your fun stuff. Yeah. It's a great hands-free bag. It awesome. is. It is. And then it also comes in a black on black because not everyone likes the bold. They like to be a little bit more subtle, but they love the idea and the look. So we do these three colors. And then in the, in the Lux tote, um, which is, you know, the ivory, which is a, you know, beautiful, heavy cut um, canvas, mm-hmm. leather applique. And this is, you know, beautifully stitched on. And then there is um, a big inside zip pocket so that you can secure your valuables. And, you know, the thing with uh, also with our brand is that we're always making our products better. So if someone, like, is using it for a while and they're like, oh, I love it, but in the future I wish you would do it 
you know, this way, I have over the years um, added this inside zip pocket. So I always am making all of our products better. Um, yeah. We also do that in the black on black. Again, Classic. for people who like it to be a little bit less subtle, you basically are able to see it with the sheen on the leather, the contrast of materials. So that's I love that you do the black on black. That's great. Especially because, I mean, like you said, some people just like a nice little solid. So these are just darling. I really love them. And I hope that you go and shop them on QVC.com. She is one of our newest brands. She brings have some fun today. Follow her on social. But also, is there anything else you'd like to share with anyone before we sign off, whether it's something about your history and your brand or or any type of thing that you want to add? Um, basically, I just hope to be able to continue to share this message yeah. through the things that we make and, um, you know, help spread some good energy. That's definitely the number one thing that we are trying to do. Mm -hmm. And if we can add a functional product that people can use, so it's like a double, it's like a, you know, a twofold message. So yeah. we hope to do that with many more products for QVC and we hope to end this global pandemic soon and have some fun. Oh, for sure. And also, it's a great gift if you know someone who's maybe not having so much fun today and you want to give them a little something. I think that wristlet, sending it out to them is just a nice little reminder of, I, I'm thinking about you and still find the joy in this time because we should. We should definitely look for that. Absolutely. That's definitely also part of our messaging. It's a great, it's like a greeting card, you know. It is. fun today. Very <laughs> much so. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us on Courtside. We appreciate you. Thank Have a you. wonderful weekend. The interview was awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.